So it's day 14 of Cleaning Piece 3, where I don't say any negative thoughts about others. It's about 6 a.m. I'm extremely tired. Um, I haven't had any really negative thoughts about others because it's spring break right now, so I, I have interacted with no one. Um, I've just been in my home um, making these films. Uh, I did make a film with my student the other day, and I think that went well. Um, this is what he thought of it. Yeah, so the Walmart shoot went really well. Um, went by super quick, super fun. Fun hanging out with Piru's for the day. Learned a lot. So yeah, definitely glad. Definitely glad it happened. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that we get to see the finished product. Um, I've been a little bit worried about uh, how foolish it makes me look because, you know, you know, I sort of hammed it up for the camera, but also uh, the student wanted me to be going to Walmart and shopping and then watching Karate Kid and then buying Transformers, which is actually not that far off from <laughs> my own, <laughs> what I am. So I guess that's why I'm, I'm nervous how the film turns out. Um, um, so we'll see. There was also the funny thing where as we were making the film, um, we went to the first Walmart that we wanted to shoot at and it was on fire. So I was like, oh, that's a sign we should shoot here or there's something bad. And then I was like, it's day 13 of cleaning piece three. That's another sign. But then uh, the student was like, well, there's another Walmart down the, down the highway. And I was like, oh, so we just went to the other Walmart and finished the film. And hopefully, um, he learned more about filmmaking and became uh, a better filmmaker. Um, I did get one message from um, my friend Todd, and he was making a joke, uh, and he said something like, um, Does that include ex-wives, too? Yeah, it does. And that's a really important one. Like, you know, relationships of the past or things that are just in the past. Oftentimes we want to dredge them up and um, we have a lot of neg negative things to say about them and maybe they're rolling around in your head but even if you if you start saying them to people it really pulls you back into that moment and it gets very hard to sort of like recognize that you're not there anymore there's nothing you can do about it so yeah it does include not talking negatively about your ex-wives um, Yeah, these are getting, um, like the other, the other pressure is like getting these done and, and the sort of doing them every day, but. Oh, and then that, my, my, my relative still doesn't like them, regardless of me being up close or far away. She was like, this is like your stories between Iran and America. You're just repeating yourself. And I was like, no, it's not. It's different. We're looking for something. We're trying to discover. I don't like it. So I guess that made me a little sad, you know. You always want the people that um, are closest to you to, to like the things that you're doing. But um, you can't always, uh, you can't always have that. On to day 15.